After spending four seasons in Niagara, just how eager are you now to make the jump to the next level? Yeah, uh, really excited. Uh, I had four great years in Niagara and uh, definitely taught me lots and learned lots there and definitely ready to move on and make the jump. So. Connor Brown faced a similar predicament a year ago and there was always talk about the possibility of playing over age given who might be in the system here. Is that a possibility in the back of your mind at all? Uh, well, I'm not too sure. I think it's up to, uh, well, it's up to me and up to the Leafs staff where they want to place me. So uh, I guess I could kind of make a difference and my, let my play kind of do the talking, I guess. So. You had a terrific second half of the season. How important was the club getting healthy, not only for you individually, but as the group as you move forward to the postseason? Yeah, yeah. At the start of the year, we definitely had a tough year, a tough start. Uh, it, things weren't going too well. I think we started off like 2 and 12 or something crazy like that. So we definitely were in a bit of a, dug ourselves a little bit of a hole. But after getting guys back and getting a little bit of momentum on our side, we definitely climbed out of it and definitely had a good second half as a whole. So. Elaborate on the skill set of Brendan Perlini, Josh Hosang, and how they made you better as a player. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, obviously they're great players and they're easy to play with. And I guess uh, I played mostly with uh, Perlini, which uh, he's a great player, a big speedy winger, and uh, he can uh, score goals. So you give him the puck, he can put it in. So it helps out for sure. And just uh, having those guys back, having more older players and I guess more skilled players than having a lot of rookies in the lineup, I guess, definitely helps the team and definitely helped us in the second half for sure. Being named captain mid-January last season, how did that impact your game on the ice and off? Well, uh, I guess uh, it, was, uh, it didn't, I felt like it didn't do too much because I thought it was always kind of, I always kind of had that role the whole year because we had a, like I was probably one of the oldest guys on the team and we had a lot of young guys, but it definitely uh, kind of helped out a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe gave me a little confidence and I guess, uh, you know, it's just a little bit more responsibility. So that's pretty much all it is. Can you draw back upon your experiences in your rookie season and that Niagara team and, and the leadership you had on that specific group? Yeah, yeah, we definitely had a lot of good great players and good leaders. Uh, I think our, ca our captain then was Andrew Agazino, who's doing pretty well and he's a good leader. He's definitely helped me out quite a bit. And I'd say uh, the same thing about uh, Ryan Strom too. He was our captain the next year and definitely, uh, definitely they, those guys kind of help you out and kind of show you the way and how to, you know, be a leader, so. As a stepping stone along the way, your draft year, what do you take from that opportunity at the World Under 18s winning gold in an event that has been dominated before and after by the American team? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a great experience. Uh, it was a lot of fun going over there and we had a really good team. We uh, had a bunch of guys that are good players and I guess guys had to fill different roles, which is guys did a good job of that and aren't used to playing different roles. So everyone bought into the system and we definitely Definitely overcame some obstacles and I guess the U.S. team was a really strong team and we beat them in the finals which was really nice. So, This camp specifically with so many guys, you always have to prove yourself but it's double the size that you were part of last year. It's going to make things a little more challenging do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think it's just a lot, of, a lot more guys and I guess uh, I think this year's camp is a little model towards more learning and kind of getting to know skills and different different types of skills and instead of playing more opposed to last year I think we played more games and stuff so I think uh, it's going to be good uh, it's going to be it's exciting right now and I'm excited to get it going